I'm going to New Jersey to see Queen B for the Renaissance World Tour, and I'm so excited. I want to bring you guys with me and my friends. So come along. the first time I do a little video vlog in my car while I'm driving. So hey guys, it's Gabrielle I shall Excuse the clip of my hair. I'm trying to make sure my hair sits down because I've got some thick hair here and it loves to sit up. Anyways, I am on my way to New Jersey to see Beyonce! I'm so excited. So excited. So, about 10 50 right now and actually almost 11 o'clock 10 57 so i was originally planning to leave at 9 30 but then uh, my hair so i stayed up late last night doing my hair because i went to the amusement park yesterday and i got it wet border park yeah so i stayed up late doing my hair and then i woke up obviously a little bit later than i wanted to and whatever we're here now so we're, we're here I pray that I get to New Jersey safely and I pray for no hurt, harm, or danger, that I'm healthy because I don't want to eat anything that's weird. I, I can't miss this concert. So, yes, yeah, on my way to see Beyonce. Like I said a million times, I'm really excited. And uh, let me pay attention to this road because we are slowing down. Why is there traffic? Oh, I didn't account for traffic here today. Um, let's get over. Yeah, so that's a great start. I've only been on the road for like five minutes and there's already traffic. Mm, so great, so great. I remember that my air was low in my tires, so I had to do that before going on a three hour road trip. So checking the tire pressure and it's just about over 30, so we're good. You know what really grinds my gears when I'm driving? It's a state law. It says it all over the, the highway to stay in the right lane except for passing. Why can't people understand that? Like, why aren't people abiding by the law? Because you're in my way. Like, move out of the way. Ludacris said it best. Move, Earth, get out the way. Like, y'all are in my way. Why do y'all do that? Why do y'all do that? Because I'm tired of it. Like, it's really a hazard because you're gonna have fast people in the right lanes, which I do, because I need to get around you. I'm trying to, I got, I got places to go. I got people to see. I got Beyonce to see. <laughs> so I need y'all to move out of my way. People just don't get it. And that really grinds my ears. Guess what song I was listening to here? It was a Beyonce day. So I was listening to Feeling Myself uh, by Nicki Minaj featuring Beyonce. It's my song. Any song with Beyonce is really my song. And I finally got to New Jersey. This is really cool. You could see the city line of New York from where we were. It was right across the water. Really pretty views. We went to this place called Pier 115. It's a bar and grill. And it was so cute. It was like indoor, but the windows um, came up and allowed you to get the breeze from outside. Or you could actually sit outside on the water, which is what we did. We got some drinks. And then we got some food and the food was really good. I got some French toast. She got, it looks like steak and eggs. We got sweet potato fries. Kelsey also got French toast. And my cousin Candace got a pepperoni pizza. Well, it was funny that there was a photographer at this restaurant, she was taking pictures and pictures came out really cute, but you know, you gotta pay for those. And we wasn't trying to pay for those cause we just paid an arm and a leg for this concert. <laughs> Just kidding out, but no, we didn't get the pictures.
And then we are leaving and just wanted to get some clips of the restaurant. I thought it was so cute. And this sign, it said peer pressure. So cute because we're peer, it's the water, yeah. <laughs> We uh, just did lunch, sitting outside, and your girl is hot. Now we're on our way to the hotel. I'm gonna get ready. I got a few TikToks to do. And yeah, next stop after the hotel is the concert. It is 94 degrees in here, y'all. 94 freaking degrees. So hot out here. And we're, I got boots, y'all. I got boots. I don't know if I could do that. Ah! I don't I must have just touched the metal. I'm supposed to be wearing boots for my outfit. I might just do it for the picture inside of the hotel, but I don't know if I could wear boots out here. It's too hot. It's too freaking hot. So on the way to the Renaissance Hotel, which is so fitting because we're going to see the Renaissance World Tour. I love it. Tell me why I had this huge suitcase literally for one night. I couldn't decide what to wear. So I just brought like a couple of outfit ideas. I bought a whole bunch of shoes so that they could help me pick out my outfit. The room was cute. We had two queen size beds and a couch and a little one seater. Really cute, very spacious. We didn't really need much because it was literally overnight. We're going to see Beyonce, so we're not going to spend a lot of time in the hotel. Here's my outfit. So I had two bags because I didn't know which one to bring since we were going in a football stadium. You're only allowed to bring clear bags or really small bags. So wasn't sure which one I wanted. Oh, getting ready. She said she pauses. No, no, no. What are the artists? Uh, where are the song songs? Oh, she pauses. Up there so far. Yeah. Chicago. Y'all, it's raining. Whoa. Whoa. We're supposed to be going to the Beyonce concert in an hour. And it's raining. Rainbow. Hope that means it's done. Oh, it's a big one. Sad day. The earrings broke. This little thing, oh, big thing, is now this little thing. Oh, they match my other earrings, so matches the other one. All right, our Uber driver just beeped at us. I don't, I don't like that. I Check the uh, license plate. Hi, I'll go around. Well, we're on our way to the Beyonce concert. <laughs> B. Do y'all say B or Bay? Bay. Bay. B. I say B. Queen B. So Queen B. 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 But B E Y. This is embarrassing. You're <laughs> <laughs> so in our Uber, the sunset and the sky were so beautiful. As we were riding to the concert, we saw a lot of cars, a lot of traffic. I think those were people trying to get into the stadium to like actually park there. But luckily, we were just taking an Uber there. And um, I think after we got out, the Uber driver had to sit in some traffic. But thankfully, we didn't have to.
So I try to get some clips of people's outfits because the girls came through with the outfits, y'all. So, so cute. Everyone was so cute. guy in front of me tell me why he got sick before Beyonce even came out he threw up he was throwing up on himself y'all and the whole section stunk it smelled so bad so I had to actually go get someone who worked there to come clean it up in the middle of the freaking concert come on y'all get y'all stuff together <laughs> because of copyright claims i'm not trying to get that on my videos i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this show i just have like little clips little pieces of a show i couldn't get the whole thing although i wanted to just have a little visuals and i hope you guys enjoy this so she came out singing dangerously in love and oh uh, it was so beautiful she's also sung flaws and all and one plus one um, and then another old song, it was like four old songs that she sung and so beautiful, loved it, loved how she opened the show. And then she switched over to the Renaissance songs. mixed the songs together her like her old songs of her new songs like some of the um at some point she was like singing a new song but the music in the back was from an old song and then at one point she actually mixed the lyrics from several songs i'm like how do you even do this 
Um, and it just went so smoothly together. It was it, <laughs> this concert. It was just amazing. Y'all gonna hear me say that a couple of times. So if y'all don't love Beyonce, y'all don't want to keep me hearing me say it's amazing. Y'all can just switch out right now. <laughs> but <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I loved it. When Blue Ivy came out, everyone was going crazy. She did so good. And I was really excited to see her because, you know, I've been seeing a lot of the videos on Instagram, TikTok of her coming out. So I was expecting it, but when it happened, it was just like, yes, yes, girl, yes. Um, then we went out to get drinks. Oh my goodness. When we went out to get drinks, we were in line for drinks and then they were like, stop selling drinks the the manager told everyone to stop selling drinks so even though we were literally next in line we were literally stepping up to the line to the to the front they stopped and we couldn't order drinks which kind of sucked but at least we were able to experience the concert without alcohol everybody say hey miss carter And then we saw this guy who was doing the sign language for the show. He was getting it. And everybody in that section was, um, they were they were having a great time too. So I loved seeing that. It's so cute. Guess what song this was? I'm so mad I missed it. And like to actually see her perform it, we were out still getting the concessions at this point. It's Church Girl. Now, do y'all see this man in the green? His hair, I showed a clip of him like coming in just as Beyonce was coming on stage and he was gonna be blocking our view with his hair. Thankfully, he moved to the row, I think two rows beneath him, whatever, wherever he went, it wasn't blocking us anymore, but that's so obnoxious to come to a concert like that when you know there's gonna be people behind you. Like, be considerate of others, please. And then this is just a few clips of me trying to get people's outfits because like I said, they was on point. There's a lot of metallics, shimmeries, diamonds, rhinestones, cowgirl outfits, cow boots, cowgirl boots, hats. Oh my God, it was amazing. And Beyonce said we looked good too. I'm not gonna put that clip up because she was saying it with her music in the back. So I don't want copyright claim, but she said, give it up for all of our energy. She said we were a great audience and she loved our outfits and the vibes that we were giving. And oh, this was a special night because it was the one year anniversary of the Renaissance album. Isn't that cool? All right, so let me tell y'all another thing that happened. So we got out the concert like 1130, right? We didn't get out of the 
stadium arena area until after one o'clock. They didn't go to bed till like four o'clock. It was a long freaking night. And I was so irritated towards the end of it because I was tired. And I drove all that way that day and then I had to go back and drive home the next day. So I was just a little irritated of all this time that we spent waiting for Uber because our Uber kept canceling. So we had already like pre-booked to Uber like the day before for a certain time to pick us up. Tell me why when that time came, the Uber driver canceled. And then we would try to order another one. The Uber driver canceled. Hey! Oh wow, look at that guy. My phone, what? My phone lasted throughout the concert and now we have to walk all the way to Lot E for the ride share. And my feet are killing me. And she's laughing at me. Because I'm walking like an old lady. So funny. Ha ha ha. So eventually we found out that we could take the train for free to a stop that was like 20 minutes away and then we were instructed to try to get an uber or whatever from there because it's not it won't be as many people there as it was at the concert so i wish i would have known that sooner we probably would have been home or to the hotel a lot sooner and i probably wouldn't have been as irritated it's one o'clock i want to go to bed i gotta drive home tomorrow morning my feet are already hurting and we've literally been walking back and forth, back and forth. I literally just want to sit down. I'm sorry for that, I'm cold. Freezing. We are at Sea Caucus. Junction Bus Plaza, train station bus plaza. And Kelsey came to her rescue. It is now 1.45 a.m. And look at all these uh, concert goers out here too. So finally, I'm going to be able to get to the hotel relax because they tired <sighs> Kelsey thank you for the ride the dogs are barking So today I am going to wear this shirt. Fun fact, I got it weeks before the concert and it was actually cheaper than the shirts at the concert. A bunch of people here for a Beyonce and now they're gone. So we're gonna grab some breakfast, Renaissance, Renaissance, and then I will be out. When we got in the elevator, this lady in the purple, she was like, are we all a part of the hive? And we're like, yes. 
beehive. My hair still looks good. I had such a great time. So glad that I went to see Queen Bee. I had a really great time. She was amazing. She, We already know that. She's the, a really great entertainer. She put on the show. Out of this world. Superstar alien, alien superstar. Am I really a beehive member? If I, can I get the name of the song correct? No. Can we talk about how good my skin looks right now? No makeup, no filter. Ow. This is so cute. <laughs> so how was Beyonce? How did you guys enjoy? I feel like an interviewer. How do I say it? So Beyonce concert. What were your thoughts? Ten out of ten. Life changing. Of 10. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite song. That's hard. For me, it was formation, just because like I never saw it in person, and everyone else has. So, what is the song that Blue came out to? Power. Power. Yeah. But was, really, I liked all the old songs. Yeah. I really I like, like the Beyonce. old songs too. Like, yeah. Uh, what was the the one where she talks about being mean but still being loved? Oh, Boston well, Boston. yeah. I that, that was one. really good. That was yeah. Good. And that was in the beginning. Yeah. That was good. I think my favorite was Cuff It. Oh, that's it was nice when people were doing a TikTok dance too. We were. Yeah. We were trying. <laughs> I forgot to look. That was still in the beginning, so you were like, still like. No, in the beginning, I was like. I was like crying. And then, right? I have pictures and videos of you doing that. And we're turning around like. And then you started singing and dancing. Yeah. I Beyonce. cried. Like, I'm like, I'm one of those you cried? Yeah, I cried in the beginning. Like, I couldn't, like. There were so many emotions going on at the same time. <laughs> and I was getting mad because people kept coming in and out oh, yeah. in front of us. And then the guy with the thing, I was so mad. I, I thought like, he was going to no sit way. up. Because he came the row, like two rows beneath us. And I'm like, you're in my way. But then he went. He... They made him move. The girl was like, no, no. Oh, that he had the wrong like, ticket or something. No, no, I don't think so. Because she was, it was when Beyonce had just come out. Yeah. Was like the first song. And here he comes with his face. <laughs> she was like, no, no. What was the song with the band? Oh, oh. fan me up, my uh -uh. Everybody had the fans ready. And no one was wearing like cowboy hats in front of us, which was, yes. I'm Only thankful. next to us. Good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been see, like, <laughs> <laughs> but they were so cute. I really like the. There was one that had a blue hat, like at the very end. She was walking up and the tassels, taking pictures, and it was really like cute. the silver tassel. Yeah. These girls came. Yeah. came with the fits. Yes. And Gabby was catching all of them. We're good. <laughs> Thank you guys. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs>
so I am finally about to go home. Just had some drinks and some food with my friend from college, Mariah. And we're in Baltimore right now. So I'm getting ready to go home and it's been a long day. It's been a long 36 hours. I've been traveling, driving back and forth from to and from New Jersey. And um, I'm just tired, so I wanna go home. I wanna lay down. I wanna, I wanna take a nice bath. I had an amazing time at the Beyonce concert. It was, it was just amazing. Like her, it was an entertainment. It wasn't just singing, it wasn't just dancing. It was both. She's on both. Entertainment, hands down, ten out of ten would definitely recommend. If you have time, I would try to find a ticket to one of her last shows. It was amazing. Her, she's so creative, like. The visuals that she had going on during and even in between her little sets, amazing. Like her, her dance crew, her musicians, everyone was on point, on point, on point. My favorite song that she did, I think my favorite song of the new album, the Renaissance album, is Cup It. I love when she said, sitting on top of you. Pause, how did I get the words messed up? This, <laughs> she says, can I sit on top of you? We go on up the night. <laughs> and she sat on top of the guys. That was cool. I did think she was going to bring out Jay-Z because we were in New York and that's his hometown, but it's cool. We weren't there for him, but I just thought we'd get a little razzle dazzle. <laughs> and mix up the show with him. Blue Ivy was really good. Everyone went wild when she came on stage and I already knew it was her song because I've seen a lot of the videos of um, people posting videos of the show. So I knew this was her song. I was like, Candace, this is Blue Ivy's song. Where's she at? She did her thing. Everyone was going crazy for her. Like Blue was a star and Beyonce had that proud mama look on her face. I loved it. She was just looking, she's like, thanks to Blue Ivy and everyone went wild again. And she just looked like, that's my baby. That's, I'm her mom, I'm so proud of her. And that was amazing. more honestly to sit on the floor because I'm sure that's a one in a lifetime experience however one of the ladies that we saw in the elevator of the hotel she was saying that she got the VIP they were on the ground floor but they were all in the back but they said the VIP wasn't worth it I would pay to sit front row and not 1000 I would pay I don't know what I would pay but Hopefully it doesn't run for a thousand. I know the resale tickets were the ones that were really expensive. Like ours, it was like six hundred dollars. That's eh, that's expensive. That's like half of rent to some people, half of my mortgage. <laughs> but I I don't know. I enjoyed it thoroughly. So I'm gonna say my money was well spent. So your girl's tired. I'm gonna head home. Thanks so much for coming with me to the Beyonce concert. I hope you are able to go and experience it for yourself because obviously I couldn't put the music in this video because copyright, copyright, she's gonna claim her video. Even if it's like five seconds worth a song, I've done it before and she's like, nah. Well, it's not her, but you know, she puts these things in place where nobody's using her song without her getting paid. So 
not even going to stir that pot copyright but i hope you guys were able to enjoy my video and i hope you guys were also able to go see beyonce for yourself because it was amazing that was my second time seeing her i saw her for the formation tour in baltimore amazing as well but y'all that's the last time i'm gonna say this it was amazing hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give me a big thumbs up also click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever i post and until the next post i will see you later bye oh yeah look at my tan y'all i'm tan and my skin flawless i woke up flawless also, uh, uh, i don't even know the words y'all i'm flawless <laughs> drops like